Hey guys, what's up? Optimus Tom here with ggchronicle.com and we got Morello over here for an interview. He led lead head champion designer? Yeah, lead champion designer. Lead champion designer over at Riot Games. Hopefully you can clear up a little bit of misconception you guys have with basically the overall champion design process. So okay. when you have a champion idea, when a mama designer and a papa designer love each other very much. <laughs> That's right, it makes a baby, de it makes a baby design, no. Um, so the champion design process is kind of uh, organic at Riot. Mm -hmm. Anybody in the company can submit an idea because ideas, there's millions of ideas, right? And the hard part isn't the idea. The hard part is making that into actually a fun, cool looking champion. So we let anybody submit an idea and then we kind of filter it down team by team to kind of refine that into a actually good character. Awesome, awesome. Now, um, a lot of people are asking actually in the audience today at PAX, what actually comes first? Do you guys line up a set of skills or do you get like a piece of artwork and base a champion off of that? It, it all depends. We actually, three examples I like to point out here are <clears throat> Draven was a personality before he was anything. We were like, we kind of want this cocksure, egotistical guy, and then we made everything around it. And then you think about things like, who should be that guy? Well, a range carry, that's the guy getting the glory, that's the guy getting the kills. He should have maybe this juggling gameplay that really shows off. You know, conversely, Zyra was gameplay before she was anything. We were like, what about if we hatch these seeds into turrets by using our other spells? And then we made the plant character. So it can come from anywhere and start from anywhere, but then everything else needs to kind of coalesce and coagulate around that and make it into a good champion. Awesome, awesome. Also talking about Zyra, we've seen Zyra play it a lot in recent competitive play, and she's a fairly new champion. How much do you take of the competitive scene in mind when you're kind of hashing out the details to a new champion? Well, it's more important that the character is fun and unique than competitive immediately. Mm -hmm. Fun fun is harder to get right away, so if you have fun first and it's not exactly right balance, you can fix that. If it's really balanced at the start but it's not fun, that's much harder to fix as you've seen with some of our champion remakes. And uh, speaking with the balances and the champion remakes, actually, you're feeding right into my questions. This is great. Yeah. Um, I was going back once again, we've seen Zyra in competitive play when she first came out little bit broken and then immediately you guys went in and gave a couple fixes to her and she's pretty competitive but you also have people on staff like Jat and the entire Riot team I believe you guys have a full full competitive team kind of that works with you guys how close do you work with them when coming up with champion rebalances very closely uh, we have a whole team in Jat, Classic, Static, some other top players are part of that team and they um, really are their entire responsibility is game health and balance and things. Sometimes we don't always hit the mark coming out the gate, especially when we do new mechanics, because new mechanics don't have a lot to compare themselves to. So we're, we do our best and do a lot of testing, but then once it gets out there in the wild, you have hundreds of thousands of players testing it immediately. You'll get a lot of feedback really quickly. So community feedback and competitive feedback, which one weighs a little bit more in your eyes? To, to be honest, competitive feedback, because competitive balance typically trickles down. Yeah. Uh, what's working at the top elos will be eventually learned as lower and lower elos over time. Therefore, balance affects everybody, but at top balance, the counter isn't play better, right? Where at other elos, you can just say, how do I beat that guy? Well, you can outplay him in these ways you're not yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, Backpilling a little bit, we were talking about the fun design behind champions. We've seen some champions with interesting little little quirks to their playstyle. We saw Zyra with her plants. We saw Jace, of course, uh, utilizing a mechanic that even Nidalee uses with the swapping of forms back and forth. What other really fun things do you guys have in store for us? Well, well I don't want to blow too much off of this right now, but <clears throat> as you've seen this year mm -hmm. with our champions pretty much from Zig, you know, look at Ziggs, Varus, Draven, Zyra, Jace, all these guys, right? Uh -huh. They all have to be unique and memorable and special to be fun as well as thematically consistent and just cool, right? So we're gonna keep that up. We're not gonna stop that. We think fans love it, we love it. It makes the game more interesting. There's no reason to stop. So you're gonna see more and more. And as we get better at it, we might be able to find ways to even do things that we'll look back a year later and go, wow, we couldn't even do that then, you know? <laughs> so we wanna always kind of be upping the bar on how interesting they are, but not pushing our old champions out of the game. And has there ever been a character that's just a little bit too interesting that they've had to kick the bucket? Not from that standpoint. There's been mechanics that have. Okay. We have a couple of mechanics I don't want to let out here because people want them, but they just like literally ruin the game if you put them in. But man, they're, they're kind of an interesting idea. We're gonna, you know, we want to balance fun and game health, right? You know, we don't want it to be about hit this button and the whole game's over. We want it to have a lot of interesting gameplay, so. Awesome. Are there any uh, any characters that you personally love that just haven't seen the limelight? Well, no, I got I got my lady Zyra here, but um, 
No, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Leona generally, but we just saw her a bunch. Um, She's my favorite champ too, so, right. uh, so bro fist on that. Oh yeah. Um, I think a lot of the champions he play, we saw in recent tournaments, we actually see a great majority of the champions team picks and bans. You know, there's a few that are a little too picked and banned, and you know, we'll address that as we balance things every few weeks. But overall, I think a lot of, there's a good variety out there, and that's really what I care about. So if you like these champions, you can find a way to play them and actually be good with them. And uh, variety is one more thing that a lot of summoners are taking into account with Season 3 upcoming, being a little bit more competitive, of course, with the Riot League and everything. Yep. Um, with the champion releases every two weeks, are you are you kind of figuring there's going to be a wealth of champions that you're pumping into the Season 3 and you're going to see maybe an overload? Or do you think that it's going to be something you're just going to have to work with teams as the new champions come out? Well, in a lot of games, to be a pro, you have to master the game, right? And, and you have to master League of Legends too. But one thing that's unique about League of Legends is because it's always changing and evolving, you also have to adapt. You have to be fresh and you have to keep on the razor's edge of your game to be competitive. We love that. We think that's interesting. It's fun to watch. It's fun to play. If you see a lot of these games, strategies get stale and old and rote after a while. But our goal is you nobody will ever know everything about League of Legends and that's that's exciting as shit man <laughs> It is very exciting indeed. And speaking of exciting, before we close out the interview, any little uh, teasers you want to drop? We got a, a new character coming out relatively soon, if I'm right. not mistaken, right? Right. We have Syndra coming out, which uh, you guys can see is kind of a force gravity mage. Has some kind of picking up and throwing minions and other objects kind of thing. That's pretty cool. We're also, we have heard our uh, fans kind of cry out for uh, the variety of maybe archetypes and artistically. So, you know, we are going to be delivering more on kind of the monstrous champion front. You're going to see... Awesome. Very soon you're going to see something really hit home on that front. We're going to do more of that kind of stuff and really kind of spread our wings creatively while making our world and our story and our lore make more sense at the same time. Awesome, very awesome indeed. So Summoners, perhaps you want to keep your eyes on the void for new champions coming out soon. Uh, I didn't say that, but I didn't not say that. I think they might have leaked that on stage. Yeah, so uh, that's okay. That's not, okay. not your fault. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, big thank you to Morello here, lead champion designer at Riot Games. For more coverage on PAX Prime as well as the League of Legends tournament, continue to check out ggchronicle.com and all the rest of our interviews with pro players and Riot employees alike over on youtube.com slash ggchronicle.